In this episode, we're going to explore the question, how do I add unique IDs to my import? Let's take a look at our import spreadsheet without IDs. So uh, for example, say we have some uh, investigations that involve different states, and we're not interested in providing a label other than the state name that they took place. So what this means, right, we have Georgia three different times. If we import this right now, so let's show you what that will look like. What's going to happen is Georgia is actually going to get collapsed. Um, and we're only going to see one instance of this. We also have some um, connections that are coming in that are defining the connections that you see, but you'll see we don't actually have three unique elements. So that's not what we want to have happen. So instead, we have to make some changes to this spreadsheet. Uh, by default, Kumu uh, matches elements based on the label and type combination. Since there's no type here, uh, basically we see Georgia three times, thinks that's the same element, and then collapse those values. If we don't want that to happen, we can add our own ID. So insert a new column, uh, label it ID, just ID, nothing else there. And then we can give it some standard um, names. If we just put two in here, Excel is smart enough to let us drag this down and it'll follow that pattern. And now we'll have IDs for each of the different elements. And when imported, these will be treated as separate, um, uh, separate elements. The caveat, though, is we have to actually update this information in the from and the to here, right? So if Frank Underwood is the lead investigator on this Georgia, we need to change this to um, LM003 um, for New York. Uh, that's going to end up being LM005. Um, and then finally, for this other Georgia, we have to figure out that's actually this LM001. And so if we add all those in, we can save this file and then come back here and import it again. Uh, when we do that and we click Save, uh, we'll get the behavior that we want. So now we have uh, one Georgia, two Georgia, three Georgias. We have the connections to the right ones. And then if we want to, we can now come in and cluster based on the firms involved uh, to see some of that overlap that's going on.